Well, we are back now with Melanie Hall, President and CEO of Hospice of Huntington and Tri-State Life Care. Melanie, thank you so great much for coming you. in. It's Thanks great to see you. Me. Yes, Thanks for letting me come. I know we're going to talk about maybe a fairly newer kind of branch mm -hmm. of, of what you mm -hmm. do, and that is Tri-State yes, Life Care. that's mm -hmm. right. Tell that's us a little right. bit about it for maybe those that aren't familiar with, right. with it. Right, so Hospice of Huntington, uh, we just actually celebrated uh, National Hospice and Palliative Care Month mm -hmm. uh, in the month of November. Um, uh, several years ago, opened a set of service lines uh, that are... Uh, in more in the palliative space and on hospice services mm -hmm. called Tri-State Life Care. And one of the services that we opened, which was the first in West Virginia, was a medical adult daycare center. And so we are celebrating our one year anniversary um, Thursday. Thank you. It's the first in West Virginia and it has Aww. turned uh, out to be just such a wonderful opportunity um, for um, help and healing and mm -hmm. um, safe care for folks that are seriously ill in the community um, as well as for their caregivers. Um, so it's been a wonderful year to see um, that come into fruition and how it has helped both the patients as well as the caregivers. Exactly. What a wonderful need yes. for, as you say, the caregivers as well as their loved ones. And I'm loving seeing the pictures of mm -hmm. all the, the faces and it looks like yes. they get to stay busy, having fun. Oh yes, yes. It, it is, um, you know, meeting the socialization needs uh -huh. and the medical needs. Uh, there's a, a, a nurse that's there the whole time and a, a certified activities coordinator so mm -hmm. the activities are you know maybe cognitive stimulating or, or, or tailored to whatever they mm -hmm. need uh, what their abilities are and of course the the nurse is there to provide medication or mm -hmm. skilled nursing things that are needed to be done so it's it's a higher level of care than even you would get if somebody just came to your home mm -hmm. on a one-on-one -on -one right. basis uh, there's care planning and and things like that and it's more affordable than uh, having oh. someone come one-on-one -on -one. Uh, we do provide provide transportation. Um, so it is really an excellent wraparound service, a very affordable, very high quality for folks that have a loved one and they mm -hmm. want them to try to be able to live at home as safely and well for as right. long as possible. And this is an excellent resource. And I like too, they weren't just sitting in front of a TV. Oh no, oh no. Mm -hmm. Lots of games, lots of activities, mm -hmm. um, both cognitive and as physical what they can do. And we, we, toler we tailor it to what their mm -hmm. interests are, right. you know, or we have special focuses obviously you know who in the red suit's going to come sometime in the next few <laughs> weeks and <laughs> we have a whole holiday special uh, yeah special uh -huh. visit. we have a whole holiday week and just it's just a lot of fun um, but tomorrow we're going to be celebrating our one year birthday party so oh. we would just encourage folks if you're out shopping or you're uh -huh. out running around just come by uh, run in five ten minutes ask some questions look around because we have room for more people and we would okay. love them to participate and uh, to learn more just really learn yeah. more. Most states, at all states in the nation have one. West Virginia was the only one that didn't. So this is our first. So we're, we're really trying to begin also educating the public that this is an option right. that you've never had before and we want you to check it out. And what a great option. Right? Yes. You know? yes. It's fantastic. It's really yeah. been a, a, a blessing. Well, and I bet there are some people that are watching with us right now, Melanie, that are wondering, okay, you know, I, I have a loved one that I think this might be mm -hmm. yes. the fit for them. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Maybe you just want a little bit more information from Absolutely. you. So I know you said tomorrow's a great time, but let's say sure. that unfortunately for some reason they can't make it. Can yeah. they give you a call anytime? Absolutely. The number's on the screen, 399-0225. You call any number related to us and we'll answer and get you the right place. Um, but absolutely, just give us a call. We'll talk um, and share information, find out what they need and kind of, if, right. if we can't provide it, help point them mm -hmm. in the direction that would be yeah. helpful. Because yeah. one question about a lot of people are wondering, is this something that they have to commit to for every day of the week or can it just be a drop-in situation? Um, uh, there is uh, some paperwork you know you have to enroll right. and once you've enrolled uh, then you can do it on a drop-in basis as long as there are slots available for that okay. day. Uh, there's no financial commitment uh, like you don't have to reserve so many okay. days or anything like that. You can drop in. Uh, we just have to know they're coming so we can plan for food, uh, right. for lunch and food. Um, but then um, you know they can they can come every day, they come half days, whole days, part days, every other week. I mean, there's no locked-in oh. schedule that they have okay. to attend. Great. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. Melanie, if you don't mind, r remind everyone of when that open house is happening tomorrow, because I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with Hospice yes. of Huntington yes. and where you're located, mm -hmm. but this yes. is different. Yes, it's a different, different facility. It is different. Yes, yeah. it is very different. Um, it, we are located, uh, the Medical Adult Day Care, Tri-State Life Care Adult Day, is located at number 8 Stonecrest Drive, which is just off the 8th Street exit, just off the 5th Street Hill yeah. exit, a little cul-de-sac mm -hmm. of a um, uh, setting there on the right um, and you'll pass the family urgent care and Stonecrest Animal right. Center and you keep 
going. And it's there on the right uh, okay. from 5 to 7 tomorrow. Uh, but call any time if they can't make it. But uh, do come and stop in or send somebody or, yeah. or whatever. We'd to love find to find out them. more. Well, thank yes. you so much yes. for stopping by and letting yeah. us know about it. And, and also well thank you to your staff work, yeah. for yeah. what you all have been doing and are continuing yes. to do. Busy, busy yeah. But it's been great. Yes. Good to be here. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.